Alright, now we're ready to start migrating virtual machines to Google Cloud VMware Engine. Hi, my name is Raj Chetnani with Google Cloud, and now we're going to start looking at how to extend our network from our on-prem environment to Google Cloud in order to perform a live vMotion with zero downtime between an on-premises environment and the cloud. To begin, we're going to go back to our on-prem HCX environment, select Network Extension under Services, and we're going to select a port group that's been VLAN tagged for us to stretch between on-prem and the Google Cloud side. This is done with a pair of the network extension appliances that get deployed as part of your service mesh. So first thing we're going to see here is the ability to select the destination uh, network, as well as optionally enabling mobility optimized networking, which comes in handy if you're stretching multiple networks and you want the VMs on those networks to be able to communicate to one another without tromboning back on-prem. Go ahead and put in the gateway. And as you can see here, we already selected our destination router and we'll go ahead and submit. This will take a few minutes to complete. And as mentioned before, this leverages a pair of network extension appliances. In general, you don't want to stretch networks over a long period of time, but for the purposes of migration, it allows us to go ahead and migrate VMs with that zero downtime capability and in a future date, you can swing the gateway from your on-prem environment to the cloud. Next, we're going to go to the migrate screen and actually perform the migration. If you ever need to do a reverse migration moving from the cloud back on-prem, you can select reverse migration here in order to populate the opposite inventory. For now, we're going to select server one, which exists on-prem, add that to our list, and go ahead and start configuring where we want this virtual machine to go by selecting the compute container. In this case, we're selecting a workload resource pool, the data store, in this case, our vSAN data store, and then the migration profile or how we wanna migrate the VM. In this case, we'll go ahead and select vMotion, put it in a specific folder. And from there, you have also the option to change the disk type format, whether it's thin or thick provisioned, additional options around the switchover itself, as well as when you'd like the failover window to take place. So the seed replication can occur while the switchover can be defined at a later time. Let's go ahead and click validate. And once that's complete, we'll go ahead and hit go and start the migration. Because we haven't defined when the switchover occurs, it'll occur as soon as the initial data has been copied over between the on-premises environment and GCBE. Now, depending on the migration type that you've selected, the distance that the VM needs to traverse in order to transfer the data, latency, connection speed, how many service meshes and how many parallel actions are occurring, you'll see different results based on that. It's a good idea to review the network underlay characterization and H6 performance outcomes guide, especially when it comes to large scale migration environments or use cases. Now, I have a running ping going on in the background during the vMotion switchover window. And in most on-premises environment, when a VM vMotions between hosts, you'll lose maybe around one ping during that time period. We're gonna see if we see the same thing here. And in fact, as I cancel this out, you can see that at most we did lose one ping during the switchover and the VM continues to be accessible, reachable, even migrating over large distances or large VMs. And now let's take a look at the migrate wizard once more and make sure that the VM that we did migrate is in fact no longer showing up in our on-premises inventory and is reachable and available on the Google Cloud VMware engine site. And as you can see, server 01 has been removed from the list. Awesome, congratulations. You've just completed the video series around HCX migration and just migrated your first virtual machine from your on-premises environment to the cloud with zero downtime. For more tips and tricks, check out the rest of the videos in the series. And thanks for watching. To learn more about Google Cloud VMware Engine, visit our site at cloud.google.com slash VMware engine.